The Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria is the regulatory body of vetting and approving advertisements in the Nigerian media. To qualify to practice advertising profession, one has to be accredited by APCON. They have also made it easy for those not in the media but who desire to practice advertising with the various training programs. One of such programs is the Special Modified Executive Professional Training and Examinations. One of such came up Monday, December 13 to 14, which was rounded off with the induction of successful participants kitted in their formal clothing. I read English at the university and I want some, you know, another course that will upgrade my knowledge of the advertising world because at a time I wanted to change my course of um, education towards APCON and I decided to write the exams. The participants waited patiently for the commencement of the program. The arrival of the Registrar and Chief Executive of APCON, Dr. Olali Konfadolako, signal the commencement of the brief ceremony heralded with the national anthem. This is the association where we belong to. And it, you know, it keeps them in, in, in tune to the rules and guidelines of advertising. That is why it's important. It's good to see how advertising is evolving in Nigeria and see where it's going, especially with the advent of new media and, and the opportunities that it presents. I'm very happy to see how the lecturers uh, contribute more to our learning. And uh, I'm very happy. I know more things which I didn't know. And I'm sure I'm going to pass it to my people so that they will know what I know too. The opening remarks by the chief coordinator of the program, who is also the executive director, registration and career matters of APCON, Dr. John Eugene Onora, RPA, paved way for the registrar's welcome address. And then professional development courses, either the ones done by APCON or by other recognized uh, training organizations, so that you continuously update yourselves. Participation in such training is a requirement for your upgrading to the next level at the appropriate time. Five years from now, all the people being inducted as associate could apply for full membership. It takes five years of continuous practice, during which you would have attended a couple of uh, professional training programs to become eligible for full membership. And by the time you count 15 years of practice, you will be due for a consideration for the fellowship of the profession. But your consistency and professional integrity will count. If there is any professional association, because we have advertising practitioners forming associations in different uh, you know, states and communities, that's one existing where you practice, please join them. One of the major benefits or strength of our profession is that it is entrepreneurship in nature. And that also is one of our major problems and challenges. How? Because it is entrepreneurship in nature, it naturally attracts so many people. If you are not successful in whatever you are doing, you can be going to it. We need at all times to ensure that as the gatekeeper of our dining profession in Nigeria, we are able to stand up for our members. If there is any infraction or violation, of the advertising law, let us report to ACO. If anyone intends to run down the profession, let us report. What are we trying to do? We're trying to create opportunity within the industry. So if a media house is paid as a 20, it means that the staff of that media house will also have the benefit of 
the advertising regulations in Nigeria are, are, are revving up. You know, a number of things are being put in place to ensure strict compliance and enforcement with the advertising regulations. So many of the people here have been in the practice um, without doing the needful. So I guess that um, you know, they don't want to be on the wrong side of the law as we intensify our efforts at uh, better regulating the practice. So I think everybody is just making sure that they toe the line. This is like a one more pop session. So we, we have to take care of the people that are left behind because by January next year we're going to go on full enforcement. So people now realize they need to just ensure that they complete their documentation and the necessary things are done. The formal induction of oath taking was brisk. Well, the Abadani Professional Council of Nigeria, APCO, has issued a comprehensive code of conduct ethics of other professional groupings whose rules and functions impinge on the advertising profession. The registered advertising practitioner shall practice advertising in such a manner as to ensure that it is legal Decent, honest, truthful, and socially responsible, whatever the medium. Congratulations. Distinguished colleagues, you are welcome into the profession. And I pray that as you go into the profession, you will succeed in all your endeavors. We are very glad, we are very um, fulfilled that um, this last um, special program for registration has come out very successful. Uh, the turnout is quite uh, impressive. The maturity and level of participation have been quite uh, satisfactory. The lectures and presentations have been quite um, successful also and I believe that those who have gone through this process are going home today quite fulfilled. This culminated to the presentation of the certificates to the participants by the registrar. I feel very happy because we scheduled this as our last induction for the year and um, we were able to pull it through. I'm grateful to God that I wrote the exams, I passed the exam and today I'm being inducted. It's been a wonderful experience and this is something that one has waited for for a while. APCON is a privilege to finally be registered with APCON. This really positioned us to practice the profession of advertising professionally. MCON has um, contributed a lot, letting us know how important our traders, content providers are, and the fact that we belong to an ecosystem and we need to engage accordingly. So that has been a good motivation. A lot of APCON activity has to go around a legal, uh, with a legal professional. You know, they taught us how to draft agreements 
with uh, different parties that are involved in the advertising business. This was swiftly followed by photo sessions and the various impressions of the program. You could do branding, you know, for companies. You could also make advertisement for people using the, you know, the various media available to us. You know, there are so many, many things. The, the market is so wide. It would let us be able to engage more uh, f from the advertising spread we're hearing about and the you know, role of the media and especially engagement both with the agency and the advertiser at the end of the day. I'm sure it will create a robust relationship. We are now more informed in um, even counseling our clients and uh, prospective ones, particularly when it comes to the area of contract signing and then you are taking them on board to commence a relationship or a campaign. So we are now more informed in uh, counseling them on what to do. Too many people don't know exactly what APCON is all about. So we try to show them exactly what APCON is all about. I think content producers need to enter a business training. You will learn a lot and it will add value to you and to your business in the future. Take advantage of APCON's uh, training because it's a whole lot of uh, different ball game when uh, you are not trained you are not uh, you haven't gone through this training and induction so it bestows on us to th do things more professionally and uh, in accordance with the ethics and rules of the profession it comes with a whole lot of challenge that i as i announced during the induction the challenge of practicing more responsibly the challenge of ensuring that um, you know, non-practitioners are taken out of the practice by their reporting their presence in any environment they practice. The challenge of um, fulfilling their other practice obligations consistently so that their names will remain in the register of practitioners. The challenge of improving on their capacity. You know, it's a practice that requires constant development, intellectual and professional development. So if they take part in various kinds of programs that we mount from time to time it will keep them in on top grade for the practice that they have joined today. We will continue to engage all the industry stakeholders, the Advertisers Association of Nigeria, the Outdoor Association of Nigeria, the advertising agencies and the MIPA. We will continue to engage the industry. The point of note of the two-day training is what we will call the rave of the moment and trending issues of APCON, which is Advertising Industry Standard of Practice, ISOP meant to sanitize the industry and give the practitioners their pride of place. ISOB, Advertising Industry Standard of Practice, is to further uh, promote a healthy business environment, respect among stakeholders. And uh, what we are advising the practitioners is that they are the ambassadors, they are the stakeholders, they are the gatekeepers of advertising. So we believe strongly that if and everyone, if each and every one of us decides to play by the rules as stipulated in ISOP, we will have a better industry. We wish APCON more successes as they continue with the ISOP advocacy and other pertinent issues in the advertising world.